<laughs> Sorry about that. I just thought it kind of funny. Now, you know what? I They changed that up for like various seasons. And I just YouTubed a whole bunch of them. Just to uh, mess with you guys for like a second. I want to get that thing in my search like on the side of the videos, every time I watch a song, there's gonna be like Roseanne thing, and it's probably gonna be stuck in my head for the day too. So I wanna pay for that, is what I'm saying. I'm just gonna see that on the right side of my screen for the next two years. Ugh. You guys got the whole thing today, just about. Though I think I forgot to uh, record doing some coloring or cross hatching or something like that. Oh, I should probably tell you when it is. When it is. It is uh, March 29th, 2018. 3.09 p.m. while I make this. Um, this cartoon has been very successful so far. Successful online. That doesn't mean it's going to be successful in the print world, wherever you make money. Um, my website's already got like 3,000 hits for this cartoon. And uh, like gobs of shares. I was going to say hundreds and stuff, but I think, it's, I think the term that fits would be gobs. I think it is hundreds, but let's go with gobs. I ain't had a gob of nothing in a long time. Uh I'm, I I didn't mind Roseanne back in the day. Um, back in the day being the nineties now. Uh late eighties, mid nineties. Whatever. And uh I was familiar enough that they killed Dan off. And that I had to start watching it long before then. And I always thought the show was like amusing and funny and and whatever. But then it got it ran its course, you know. Like most shows do, except for shows like Seinfeld. Horrible ending though, but Seinfeld was always great. Um, but recently, when I say recently, like over the past two years, I ran across it on TV Land, and I just couldn't really stomach it. It was like, once upon a time you like peanut butter, and then you don't like peanut butter anymore. And I was just watching Roseanne, and I was like, eh, just, nah. And as I wrote my blog, you know, now she's like a Trump supporter. It's not just so much like I don't want to see people that I disagree with. I just don't want to see dumbass people. I don't need to turn on TV to see fictional people who are stupid. I mean, I got the real world for that. I got... And we're supposed to like... Have tolerance for people that disagree with us. I do have tolerance for people who disagree with me. I don't have tolerance for people who base their opinions on conspiracy theories. And lies and crap like that. I, I just don't see how I have to play that. I'm sure I have several friends who voted for Trump. But I get along with them by not talking to them about politics. And yeah, it's actually possible to have a discussion with me while I'm not talking about politics. Do I'd rather talk about politics. And if I find out you're a Trump supporter, tell you how stupid you are. But I don't do that. I think uh, the friend I hung out with last weekend, uh, she's more conservative than I am and stuff. But So we never talk about politics. We get along great. She knows me too. She knows she don't want to talk to me about politics. Even people who agree with me don't want to talk to me about politics. I like the way my Dan turned out. I look like a youngish Dan Connor. The Darlene just looked like a girl. Rizzy hair. And Roseanne didn't really so much look like Roseanne here. But I really didn't think any of that was important. And yeah, I was Googling photos of these people. And mostly I Googled photos of the kitchen. Just trying to get that nasty wallpaper down and uh, the shape of the kitchen table it is the shape of the kitchen table I know more about Roseanne now than I ever wanted to know just what happens whenever you research cartoons I was sleeping really well until Walt Handelsman called me and woke me up cartoonist you look him up and I still don't know what he wanted because I didn't answer I was like eh shut up computer All right. Uh, let's do some shout outs. Hey, if you come in here and you comment, leave a comment. I will give you a shout out tomorrow. How about that? Do it. Do it. The people who have already been doing it, they already know it because they've been doing it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to tell you something interesting about Lanford in a minute. Well, it's not really interesting. It's just interesting to me. Um, Ariel thinks I look more like Luke Skywalker, which. So basically the old, oldish Luke Skywalker, who is like 15 years older than me. Thanks, Ariel. Yeah. <sighs> Kwana said yesterday's cartoon was nice. Look like an old Luke Skywalker. I, I do like looking like Luke Skywalker, but old, old Luke Skywalker. Hey, hey, 
Robert Coutinho explained what Holy Week was. We already knew it by that point. I don't know why it didn't really occur to me that... I mean, but hell, I didn't know Roseanne was appearing this week either, so totally loved that Easter was happening. Which, by the way, is 72 degrees outside right now, which is very, very nice. Yeah, here's a wallpaper. I did color it. Yeah, I forget the cross hatching, which is okay. This video still turned into 11 minutes of, uh, of this. Maybe this is your hell. Huh. Uh, anyway, thank you, Robert Quadino. Spiky Studio. Tell me I did not look like Tommy Chunk. Thank you, Spiky. Thank you. Everything about changing name to Spanky. All right, uh, he thinks I look like a member of the Almond Brothers. I can see that. I don't really want that, but I can see it. And, uh, you know, I'm not really here to talk about who I look like or what I look like. What am I, Rush Limbaugh? Spend an hour talking about his stupid ties or whatever, or, or Trump talking about himself. Yeah. All right. And then Ariel commented again, so we're going to give her two shout outs. So, and said that she should talk more about the cartoons. I think you should talk more about the cartoons instead of talking about how I look like people 15 years older than me. That'd be awesome. All right. This cart did not take, didn't really take that long to draw. It was right under two hours. And uh, I totally forgot the Roseanne thing was happening in the show. I mean, I knew it was happening, but after that, I didn't want to pay any attention. It's like, when's it going to air? What channel? I mean, my TV is on news all the time. All the time. And like I wrote in the blog, last time I changed the channel, UVA lost, number one seed UVA lost to a 16 seed, like Baltimore County. So I'm afraid to change the channel ever again. I lied. I, I did watch The Walking Dead last Sunday. Um... And I'll watch some things here and there. But mostly in the week, TV's constantly on news. On news right now. It won't stop. Like, right. the refrigerator is really kind of like this dark reddish. But I thought that would conflict with her uh, MAGA shirt. Occasionally when I use MAGA in a cartoon, somebody uh, will ask me, what's MAGA mean? Open face. I'm attention, people. All right. Uh... More comments, more comments. So, my thing to say, no. Nothing else to talk about. So, uh, Ashley, we can talk about uh, you guys. Let's talk about you. What's going on in your world, you guys? Did you watch Roseanne? Did you not? You know, I get excited about it. I, uh, how many comments did my website get for Roseanne? Huh? No, man, come on, look. Let's see. I'm going to the website right now. Go to the website right now. The website. Here I am on the website. Alright. Uh, uh, hey, 18 votes. I don't really know what the votes mean on my website, but when you go to the website, vote for the cartoon, whatever. It's not really in a contest. And, uh, oh, it's got like three thousand. Oh, shoot, got like nine comments. And, uh, 239 reshares according to this, to my little tracker on the site. But I don't think that tracker is accurate. I think it's getting more like 58,100. Yeah, not 239. And I have an ad for Converse. You know what's kind of funny? Uh, these people, uh, I, I have ads on my website and I have no control over the ads, okay? Um, I just have control over, over allowing the ads. And then these people will comment that they're upset about what ad they saw. You know what I see an ad for right now? I see an ad for Converse shoes because I was Googling Converse earlier this week. Think about getting some ones, yeah. And um, so right now I'm looking at covers. Normally I see ads for guitars because I'm looking at guitar porn all day long. I'm not buying a new guitar, but I look at photos of guitars. Um, I like from places that sell guitars, not naked guitars. But technically they are naked. Anyway, um, I don't control the ads. And somebody will complain that they saw an ad for some right wing politician or some other horrible person or some cause. Now, like, I didn't expect to come to your website and say that. And I'm like, well, dude, clear your fucking cachet. Oops, sorry. But don't you Google a bunch of weird, stupid crap and then complain when when you see the ad for it on my website because your stupid cookies are telling it to post the ad there because it thinks that's what you want to see. It's not my fault that you're looking at troglodyte crap on my website because you're out there looking at troglodyte, troglodyte crap, okay? Yeah. Anyway, I have no control over the ads, just that I have ads. And it makes me a little bit of money. When I say a little bit of money, I mean a little bit of money. A little bit of money. I make like maybe a couple hundred a year from it. And they are annoying. I don't like the ads at all. But uh, I live with it. Because I make some money. 
The website pays for itself. That's pretty cool. Self-supporting. I just have to like build it every day. <laughs> anyway, and you know what? Those people who complain about the ads, they're not ever going to hear this blog. So you guys just had to suffer my rage at the ad complaining people. And you didn't do anything wrong. Except for telling me I look like a 65 year old man. I did and I, I was actually googling her like the color of her hair now I always thought it was kind of weird that they were working class but yes yeah, she kept having these plastic surgeries just weren't buying it here's your finished cartoon I do like um, John Goodman though he is a badass actor and he's been rewarded for it done a gazillion things with great people thank you for coming here that little thummy thing underneath the video click the one that goes up Okay, and uh, oh, uh, share this with all your group of friends and the idiots in your life and, your, and the people you cherish and hold close to you. And subscribe to the channel and come back tomorrow and hang out. And I'll give you a shout out. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.